ready for the video, lads? Are we ready? We got this. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the Handsome Pugs channel. In today's video, we are going to do a gut test. I say we, I'm not getting involved. The boys are doing a gut test. Um, so we've kindly been gifted these kits by Biome 9. I've got two of them. Look how pretty they are. I think they look so nice, don't they boys? So yeah, they've kindly gifted us these kits. Um, and I thought that with the boys getting a bit older, I would actually quite like to know what they're missing from their diet. Um, everyone raves about like the gut <laughs> um, and how your gut health is so important. So I figured it's actually quite a good idea to get it tested and see what it comes back with. Um, I haven't opened these, I haven't really looked at them. So we're gonna go through them together today. Are you ready for your gut test, boys? And I'm not gonna share the gory bits because I'm pretty sure you need to get a poo sample. So that won't be included in this video just for like full disclosure. <laughs> so let me show you what arrived in the pack. So we got these two kits. Um, we also got just a cute little postcard with a message for us. Um, this is just explaining how to get the sample, which I'm a bit scared about this bit, not gonna lie. And they've also sent us, which I'll do a bit later on, a bake at home treat kit. How cute is that? I don't know why. I don't know if this has got something to do with what is in their poo that I'm sampling, or maybe it's just a little goodie for the boys. I don't know, but let's get into it anyway. So put that to one side. So I'm gonna open the first kit. Oh, it's just so aesthetic. I love nice packaging, that's lovely. Isn't it nice, boys? All right, do one at a time, so. This is what it looks like. It says, you're about to do one of the greatest things anyone can do for their dog. Um, and it says, one, activate, scan the code to set up your online account and activate your kit before you start, which I will do that in a minute. Uh, two, collect. So they need a kidney bean sized stool sample for an accurate reading. That should be about two scoops. Fresh is best. Oof. Okay, and then three, send. Send the test tube in a biohazard bag. Place it back inside this box, reseal and post back to us. So it actually looks really simple. How oh, cute, what's this? <laughs> oh, alcohol wipes. Oh God, I hope I don't have to get my hands dirty for this. We've got some <laughs> rubber gloves. <laughs> Um, and, oh gosh, okay, and the stick, I assume, to collect the sample, <laughs> no voice, okay, um, and then you've just got all of the different postage labels and the bag to put it in. Perfect, well it seems quite easy, um, I'm definitely freaked out but it seems quite easy okay so you use the little spatula thing with the little spoolie thing um okay so basically okay this is what you do so this has got some sort of chemical in so you open this up and you use the spatula in one hand and the spoolie thing in the other hand to scoop the sample and put it in the tube so yeah i'll give that a go and i will come back and show you guys how we got on um yeah wish me luck who's joined me again oscar ran away so i've just been on the website and activated both of the boys test kits um it went through quite a few questions things like what's your dog's poo like in terms of consistency um do your dogs have any like 
issues in terms of medical stuff. Um, it asked what your dog eats, whether it's dry food, wet food, mixture, um, how old your dog is. It just asked loads of different questions about your dog. It did also ask for a picture, which I didn't include. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like if there's a field that I cannot fill out, I'd rather not fill it out. Just, I guess it's the skeptic in me. Um, I don't know why a picture of the dog would make a difference, but I did the same thing when we did a DNA test. Obviously, I get it's a different <laughs> test. Um, but yeah, I didn't include a picture of the boys. Um, so yeah, their profiles were all set up. Um, it's just started raining, so the chances of poop are getting low. Um, but I'll keep an eye out. Um, I guess it's just a case of following the boys around and wait until they're ready to go and then collecting our samples. Come then boys, go get your harnesses on into your wardrobe. What harness shall we wear today, boys? Oh, Henry, your TVs. What harness shall we wear? I reckon the blue ones. So we're out on our dog walk. How long is it going to take, boys? And we've got a winner. <laughs> so weird. Right, got my little test tube. Get my gloves on so they don't contaminate. Right. <laughs> Paranoid that Henry's going to go while I'm not paying attention. Okay, so gloves. Henry's put in the background as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. At least I've got the gloves on. Just don't let me get the tubes mixed up. Okay. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> don't get too close. No one wants to see this. You're pooing again, hens. <laughs> You're pooing again. You've <laughs> got enough. A little bit more. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've spilled the liquid. What does that mean? The other one? Uh, like around here somewhere. I oh. know oh, that was Oscar's one, wasn't it? And then Henry. Yeah. There's one here. Is that that? <laughs> right, round two. Dog number two. Okay, we're done. <laughs> so that was actually quite difficult. Um, I made the mistake, well, the boys made the mistake of both pooing in long grass, which is not the easiest to pick up. Well, it's not easy to pick up anyway from long grass, let alone when you're trying to pick like a very specific size sample. <laughs> um, also, Oscar's was very solid, which also made it quite difficult. Um, and I may have tipped the liquid over. So one of the samples may not be usable, but <laughs> we live and learn. And I think I'm just gonna send them back and see what they say. Um, but yeah, that definitely didn't go to plan. <laughs> and that was definitely a rookie mistake. But anyway, the poos are done. We're out on a nice dog walk. Lovely evening. And yeah, I'll get them posted off tomorrow morning. And I'll let you know what comes back. Thank you guys, thanks for joining me. So it turns out that Oscar's poo sample actually wasn't okay. Um, I said to you guys that I spilt the liquid. Um, yeah, it came back, it wasn't a usable sample. But Biome 9 were really good and they basically just sent out a new test tube and I just did the sample again. Um, learnt my lesson this time though and collected it from the garden which made life so much easier. Um, mainly because our grass isn't that long so that definitely helped. <laughs> so yeah, I sent Oscar's test off and I have both of the results in now and I wanted to go through it with you guys. Um, 
full disclaimer, I have already looked. <laughs> um, I just couldn't wait and I didn't know how complicated it was so I didn't want to be sort of trying to understand things while trying to explain to you. Turns out it is very, very in depth and it can be a little bit complicated. So I'm glad I took the time to sort of work out what the report was telling me and now I can report back to you guys. So I've got my laptop with me today and I'm gonna go through the boys' results one at a time. Okay, so we're gonna start with Oscar's report and I will um, pop an overlay on the screen just so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, so, the first thing that the test does is it gives you a, well, firstly, it gives you an introduction into the gut and the microbiome, um, and then it gives you a score. It's called an invisible health score. Um, it's out of 100, so it's a percentage thing. Oscar scored 29%, which on the scale is, you know, mostly poor. <laughs> to be honest, I shouldn't be surprised, though, because we only really feed the boys kibble they don't have you know i don't give them anything fancy a lot of dog mums feed their dogs like raw food and vegetables and all this fancy stuff um and i've never really done that i think a large part of it is that the boys can both eat anything um they don't really have tummy issues i've never really noticed any real problems with their skin their coat um yeah, they're both just quite healthy and they can eat anything. Um, they do have the odd human tidbits as well, which isn't ideal, but they do. <laughs> um, so yeah, 29% for Oscar. Um, so it says, Oscar's score is poor. The gut is not optimally supporting his overall health and well-being. Fair. So then it goes into detail and explains what areas were most poor. So... Diversity score, Oscar did pretty well, 3.59 out of 5 I assume, just looking at the scale. His score's healthy, which means high diversity. Um, the next one was filler, which in brackets is balance. Um, sorry if I, I'm explaining anything badly or if I'm pronouncing words wrongly. wrongly. I'm not a scientist, so <laughs> disclaimer. So Oscar scores average on balance and it means that the groups of species are relatively well balanced but not optimal and that's fine. I think in general with this test I'm not really too bothered about anything that's average. It's more just anything that's poor I'd like to improve on. Um, so richness, variety is the next one and Oscar does fall into the poor category for this. Um, it means that the number of different species in his microbiome is too low for optimal gut health. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not really surprised. I think just feeding them kibble probably isn't giving them the, the variety that they need in their diet. So I definitely, off the back of this, I am going to change their diet. So yeah, something good is coming out of it. The next category is resilience. And again, Oscar scored poorly for that. It means insufficient levels of beneficial bacteria to support the health and protection of the gut wall. So again, I think it falls into the same realm of just feeding them kibble, not giving them enough variety um, and not giving them sort of specific healthy foods is probably making that poor. Um, then it goes on to the health indicators, which I think is basically just breaking it down again into each individual element. Um, again, I'm not really going to go over the things that are scored moderately, um, although to be honest, most things are <laughs> below average or poor. Um, you'll have this up on your screen, so I'll just go through the pores, just so that I don't ramble on for like an hour. Um, Fibre digestion was poor, as was protein digestion. Um, to be honest, all of the digestion category was below average or poor. So Oscar obviously has an issue with digestion in general. Um, then you move on to the inflammation and immunity se section, um, which again, it's all below average, but the poor one is his immunological function. <laughs> um, then you've got supportive health indicators. He scores poorly on breath odour, um, which again, I'm not too surprised on. The boys don't have 
the best teeth in general. I think pug teeth are like, they're all wonky and they overlap and they're quite hard to keep clean. Um, not that this video is about teeth cleaning, but you know, I have noticed before that their breath isn't the best. Um, and I do put, um, what's it called? A uh, plaque off. I use plaque off on their dinner. Um, and I use like some special liquid in their water to try and help with the breath issue, but I definitely have noticed breath issues. So maybe if that's something I can tackle in their diet, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Um, coat and skin was poor, um, which is funny because I was just saying that I haven't really noticed any issues with their coat or skin. Um, but I think sometimes when it's your dog, you don't notice. And I mean, with his fur, it, I guess he's not the softest, um, but you just get used to your dog, don't you? So you think that's just their fur. So maybe, you know, his fur could be softer. Um, yeah, I don't know, his skin just doesn't seem too bad to me. But again, I know him, so it'll be interesting to see if we can make any improvements there. Um, and then it has like a pathogen analysis section, which goes a little bit over my head, um, but I think it's mostly to do with um, like actual illnesses. Um, and on all of them, it's not detected. So I'm not gonna look into that in too much detail because it looks positive, so that's fine. So those are Oscar's results. It then goes on to explain his care plan um, and what they think you should do to improve his results. So there's a few areas that they um, prioritize. Um, in Oscar's case, they're prioritizing protein digestion, coat and skin, fiber digestion, and immuno immunological function. Why can't I say that word? Immunological function. So they're the four areas that they want to target for Oscar. So what they do then, they recommend dietary requirements for him. So in general, they want us to add extra high fiber foods, which is fine. A lot of dog foods mention that they're high in fiber, so that's great. Um, they want you to increase easily digestible, oh my goodness, I can't speak, easily digestible protein. So they're saying to look for dry foods with at least 25% protein, ideally from easy, easily digestible sources, such as fish or chicken. Um, and then they say you can also add in additional protein with meaty treats, eggs, or a teaspoon of cooked quinoa, which I'll probably do that. And then they also recommend increasing immune strengthening foods. So it just says basically to look for foods with immune boosting ingredients, such as omega-3 oils, fruit, spinach, almonds, red peppers, broccoli, and ginger, or add small amounts to their food bowl. Um, so again, really interesting. I've never added like fish oil or anything to their food, but that's the sort of thing I'd consider. Um, and I'm very open to mixing up their diet. This has sort of sparked a little fire in me, so I will change their result. And then it also recommends a few superfoods, which are human foods. So apples, fermented vegetables, spinach, asparagus, and blueberries. Great, Oscar eats most of those things. Spinach, he might be a bit iffy on. Um, and it just tells you to avoid sugary treats, butter and milk, all very obvious. Um, I actually really like the idea of giving the boys some human food in their diet. Um, I've obviously said that I'm lazy with their food, but I do like the idea of mixing it up with human foods. What I don't like, I'm a bit fussy about smelly dog food, um, dog food that I have to do too much with. So even if I have to use like cutlery or if I have to store it in the fridge, I don't know, I'm just a bit funny with those sort of doggy dog foods, if you know what I mean. Um, but if I can incorporate some healthy human food in and with some dog foods that meet my weird requirements, <laughs> we could be on to a winner. Then Biome 9 also recommend their own supplement plan, which we are taking part in. So it's broken down into three stages. Um, restore, which is not two months. Repopulate, which is two to four months. And optimize, which is four months onwards. 
Um, I will go through the supplements with you guys in a minute just to show you what we've got. But before I do that, I'm just going to go over Henry's results with you. Um, and then we can go through the supplements all at the same time. And I'll also show you what I'm doing to hopefully improve their diets. Okay, so next on to Henry. Um, so again, the same thing. The first bit I'm going to go through is his invisible health score. Remembering that Oscar's was 29%. The boys aren't related. Um, Oscar is five, five eighths pug. Henry is seven eighths pug. Um, but they do both eat the same diet. Um, Henry has a little bit more food because he is 10 kilos compared to Oscar, who's closer to eight kilos. Um, also, Oscar's on a bit of diet because his, um, wait, what's it called? His BMI. He, he's a bit fat. <laughs> so yeah, Henry eats a bit more than Oscar, but on the whole, they both have the same diet. Oscar's score was 29%. Henry's score has come in at 32%, which is interesting because very similar, makes sense because they eat the same thing. So Henry is also poor, 32%. Um, his diversity is similar to Oscar's actually. They both did okay on the diversity front. Um, so Henry's score is healthy, which means high diversity, reflecting even levels of the microbio microbial species found in his gut population. So that's fine. Um, again, with balance, his score is average. So I'm not too worried about improving that. Average is fine for me. From a richness and variety point of view, Henry also doesn't score too well. Um, so he is also at poor. Same on the resilience front, Henry is poor. Um, again, not surprised, they eat the same foods. Um, same as Oscar though, I've never really seen any issues with Henry in terms of tummy issues, um, skin, coat, joints, like it, he seems healthy. So that's good. And then again, breaking down into the different sections. Yeah, so Henry's protein digestion is also poor, which was one of Oscar's key areas to work on. Um, and his other digestions were all below average. One of them's moderate. He was below average on some of the inflammation sections. Um, and he was also poor on breath odour which again, not surprised by, his breath is not the best. Um, his coat and skin was below average compared to Oscar's that was poor. Um, I must admit, Henry has got like a nicer coat, um, but it's hard to say because obviously they're not related and Oscar's a bit of a crossbreed, so you don't know whether that's coming from the breeding that's within him or if his coat could be better. Um, so yeah, Henry does feel a bit softer in general, Oscar's a bit more coarse, but yeah, he was below average on coat and skin. So on the pathogen analysis, Henry did come back as having one of them as present. Um, so it's called Clostridium perfringens, and it says present and then with four in brackets, um, and then it says below it, True pathogens refer to microorganisms that have the potential to cause disease. It then says that if a number is shown, this indicates the amount of individual bacterium of this pathogen species that were detected in Henry's sample. If the number is shown in yellow, this is generally considered a low level, which Henry's is, so that's good. If red, you may consider discussing the result with your vet. So I think it's basically saying that there's this bacteria that could be harmful and it could lead to disease. Um, they only found four of them in his sample, which is low, so that is good. Um, but it's just something to be aware of, I suppose. And then again, with Henry, they go through a care plan. So his priority areas, protein digestion, which was the same for Oscar. Coat and skin, also the same for Oscar. Um, Henry has carbohydrate digestion on his and fibre digestion. So it looks like in general, Henry struggles on the digestion front. So that's what they want to prioritise on. Um, and then they recommend similar things for Henry, 
So they recommend that we increase easily digestible, digestible protein. So he's clearly got an issue with digesting food. So it says to look for dry foods with at least 25% protein, ideally from easily digestible, digest, why can't I say digest, di, digest, oh my God, digestible. Ideally from easily digestible sources such as fish or chicken. Um, they want us to add more high fibre foods and add plenty of fresh fruit, veg and herbs to their diet. Um, which fits in well with what I was saying before about liking the idea of adding human food to their diet. And then again, they recommend some superfoods. So we've got apples, same as Oscar, fermented vegetables, asparagus, kale and blueberries. Interesting because Oscar was recommended spinach and Henry was recommended kale. Um, I don't think it massively matters, so I'll probably just give them both a bit of both. And then same as Oscar, avoid butter, sugary treats and milk. Um, right, I will go and get the boys supplements now. That's the end of their um, reports. <laughs> it sounds like that was cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Your reports are in boys. Um, I'll go and get their supplements and I will talk you through them now. Okay, the boys are super excited because they think I've just bought loads of treats with me, which... <laughs> I guess they sort of are like treats. They're not having any though, boys. Right, can I put them here? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Why are you cheeky? So, I mentioned that <laughs> the supplements are broken down into three phases. It's basically a six month um, program, I suppose. Um, so the reason it's split down into three phases is because each phase is for two months. So these are the supplements, I nearly called them treats, for months one and two. So Oscars is the Stabilising Pathogen Control Complex. So this is what they've recommended for Oscar for month one and two. So he literally has one bite a day and there's 60 bites in here, so a two month course. The boys are gonna go mental. Ten. Can we just... They the boys like these as well. They've had them for a few days now. So this is what it looks like. It actually smells quite good too, to be fair. And the packaging's nice. This is very soft. I'm quite big on like branding, feel of packaging, things like that, and I definitely approve on this. This is lovely. So this is Oscar's. Um and Henry's is so he has got concentrated bioactive gut detoxifier. That's a mouthful. Um, his looks slightly different. His are green. Again, they smell pretty good. To be fair. This is Henry's. Um, Pathogen's the same. For some reason, this one's gone yellow, so it must be something in it that the colour is like spreading out, but it doesn't matter. Months three and four, this is what Oscar's taking. Um, I've actually had to write on the back of them all, months three to four Oscar, just so that I don't forget who's is who and when they're taking them, because there's a lot of packets and they all look quite similar. <laughs> so, months three and four, Oscar has got apt aptogenic immunoprobiotic um and this is all around um a weakened immune system and making it stronger and then the symbiotic skin guard polyphenol complex um which is to do with skin itching allergies rashes etc um i wonder if we should be feeding the dogs like allergenic allergenic stuff you know, like people feed their dogs food for dogs that have allergies. Maybe they come into the same category. I don't know. But this, this is what Oscar's having for months three and four. Um, so you get 60 in each, so it'll be one of each by own bites a day for two months. Um, just quickly as well, just skipping back to months one and two. Um, Oscar's is, this is designed to help calm and restore a healthy digestive digestive function targeting 
pathogenic bacteria, inflammation and digestive upset. So I think this first stage is all about um, just restoring his gut health and getting it to a good point. And then just skipping back to Henry's, his month one is a detoxifier and gut cleanser. So similar thing, it's targeting inflammation and gut wall resilience. I'm showing it the wrong way around. There we go. So sorry, back to Henry, months three and four. So he actually has one of the same. Symbiotic Skin Guard Polyphenol Complex is the same as what Oscar's on for months three and four. And again, this is to do with skin and coat health. Um, Henry then also has the Microflora Prebiotic Nutrient Complex, um, which is for dogs with poor digestive, digestive function, biotic diversity and gut wall resistance. Yeah, that's that. I wish they wouldn't make these words so complicated to say. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. And then last but not least, for Oscar, months four, uh, months five and six, we have got the same one, actually, because um, he's obviously got an issue with skin and coat. So this is the skin guard for skin and coat again. But then he also has the microflora prebiotic nutrient complex. <laughs> which is for dogs with poor digestive function, biotic diversity and gut wall resilience, resistance, which is the same as Henry's months three and four. So Henry's uh, months five and six are exactly the same as Henry's months three and four. So in total, Henry has three different supplements, whereas Oscar has four so there's not much in it but you know gives you a bit of an idea but yeah i will be making another video as well um we're we've decided to take part in the six month supplement plan with biome nine and we're going to retest at the end of the six month period my plan is to adjust their diet um follow the advice of biome nine bring in lots of healthier foods try and work on the areas that the boys are struggling with as well as taking the supplements and then fingers crossed we can improve their results over a six month period. Um, I'd like to think we can get them to sort of average. I'm not, you know, I'm not the perfect pub mum, so I'm not expecting it to be like 100% or anything, but I'm gonna go for 50%. I'd like to improve it up to average. If we can do any more than that, then great. Um, I do have a discount code for you guys as well for Biome 9. You can use the discount code the handsome pugs to save 15% on a gut health test. Um, I think you also do save a little bit on the supplement plans. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but go and check it out. I'll include the link in my bio as well. But yeah, I do think it will be a really interesting test for you guys because we are doing the supplements, we are following their recommendations and I will be retesting after six months. So it will be interesting to see if it actually works. Um, fingers crossed, I think it will, it should. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. Keep an eye on our Instagram stories as well because I am trying to share the boys' meals on there. Um, it just keeps me accountable to be honest um and i'm trying to make them quite aesthetic so take a look i'm gonna overlay some footage now of my different meal preparations for the boys um but yeah if anyone has any suggestions as well on different food brands that we can try um ideally ones that aren't smelly don't look too gross um and aren't too much effort unless it's human food um yeah I'm open to suggestions, so please get in touch. Oscar's looking a bit cheeky right now. Has anyone noticed this? <laughs> I feel like I need one of those little blurred out things to cover up his dignity. Cheeky chops. Cheeky chops. Come on, Hen. I'm not sure if you can see Henry, but he's just staring at the bio bites longingly. Come on then, come say bye to the vlog. We'll just sit on the treats. Give away. Ask. Come on, Bosky. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Good boys. Do you sit down? Will you sit? Will you 
We can just quietly. Oh, baby boy, I know. You could eat all of these in one go, couldn't you? I think that would help your gut. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. I hope I haven't waffled on too much, but like you can see, it was very in depth. So I feel like I needed to chat through it all. Thanks, Henry. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm not going. Just talking to the vlog. Say bye. Bye. Love you. Are you guys the best? Don't be afraid, I'll let you fall, girl.